Welcome everybody to a literal blind let's play. Yep, this game is in the dark. Just give it kidding, we're just in a dark cave. Ha <laughs> uh, the wow, it really is like pitch black in here. Uh the last episode of Pitfall Lost Expedition. Oh good lord, I can't see freaking anything. Where do we go? This is the right way, isn't it? In the last episode, we found out there's a missing princess and we need to go save her. Oh, we go this way, I see. Um we also got well, we also f found this cave, and apparently Leech is in here. I think it's Leech, it sounds like him. Whoa! Why are you even standing up there, guy? Are you just hiding in here? Um, so, now we're on here. I, this almost feels like a spot you shouldn't be in. You know, I always run this way. Let's, let's try walking around this way. Whoa! I can see outside in the world somehow. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, good lord! Well, didn't see that coming. Okay, so apparently that's not the way to go. <laughs> Uh, welcome back everyone to Let's Waste Everybody's Time by Jumping the Wrong Way. Sorry for trying to- No! Dang it, I moved the camera too much and I paid for that crap. Alright, fine, I'll freaking be careful. Alright. Oh, that's a native. Okay, I totally thought that was Leech for a second. But no, Leech isn't up here. That'd be silly of Leech. Just kidding, he's up here. Here he is! What is he doing? What are you doing, dude? You're just standing there. Why are you here? What the? What? Ah, much better. Got a question. Bittenbinder told me that your group is here looking for Kevin McAllister. What was McAllister <gasps> looking for? <laughs> the monkey. Another page from the heroic handbook. You know, helps you be heroic. Or a handbook. McAllister? Okay, okay. He was looking for El Dorado. El Dorado? That's just a myth. So they say. But I don't trust they, or them, or him, or her. In fact, I'm suspicious of all pronouns. I think El Dorado is real. So where do you fit in? I'm interested in time travel. What's that got to do with anything? Nothing. I'm just interested. Interesting. You're interested in time travel, hey? You have learned the heroic dive technique. Press X and A to launch yourself forward and through the air. This lets you travel farther than a regular jump and lets you dive under low overhangs. So, um, thankfully we got that because there's no way to get out of here besides that. Because you can't, we can't get up. <laughs> it's impossible. All right, I want my torch back, please. That was so dumb how we had to deal with the monkey. So you gotta do the the dash, and then you press A, and you do a dive. So that's kind of cool, right? Kind of hard to pull off as well. Huh! Oh, I'm surprised I got that on my first shot. Oh, you gotta jump up here now, too. It's weird, like, this tongue part raises up after you do this. It's cool, too, because you, you go through the eye. I can... There we go. It's kind of hard to do something. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, there we go. We get to see this anyways. That's really cool. Okay, so normally that rock pillar would be there. And the native would be sitting, like, right in front of it. Okay, thankfully. <laughs> oh, good lord! Okay, not thankfully, because it ended up happening anyways. So, thankfully, the monkey didn't get me. So, yeah, so, uh, we didn't miss anything. And then we're going to the butterfly clay. The butterfly clay, clay, clay. Oh, no. Hopefully the game doesn't freeze here. You know what? Let's save it just in case. Uh... My last time let's playing this the game seemed to freeze here for some reason. I don't know why It was interesting, and I didn't I don't know. I don't want to have to start over again <laughs> uh, Yeah, let's save There we go Tetris music necessary All right, so the reason why I freeze is because there's a cutscene coming up here, so Hold <laughs> Um, excuse me? Your name is Pitfall Harry. You dig things up and fight evil. Sounds about right. But how do you just... What did you just do? How can I help you, Harry? I've been by your village. I think they're worried about you. I just wanted some butterflies. <laughs> Why? You don't need a reason to want something. If I get you some butterflies, will you go home? If you'd like me to. Butterflies coming right up. 
butterflies. Right. Yeah, well. Screw you. I was just really curious what happened if you punch her, so I don't, I don't know. Lure butterflies by using the torch. So yeah, when you have the torch out. Whoa, what the heck? There's a blue flashy flash there. Uh, when you fall into the water, it puts out your torch, and thus the butterflies are no longer interested and they fly away. Or I got zero there anyways. I guess because maybe the water put up my torch? Yeah, there's an idol over here. An American idol even, huh? Huh? Good joke? 10 out of 10? Oh, okay, 0 out of 10, so... Yeah, you want to be careful. Oh! It went to her! Oh, I didn't know that happened! That's cool. I don't know why I went to her for. Okay, I guess because we went close to her again, so yeah. I guess the bottom left is the amount of butterflies she wants, and the bottom right is how many we have. Alright, so yeah, this is the heroic dive. Comes in real hand. D? Okay, for some reason I thought the, the monkey swinging around would mess up my torch skills, but... Didn't. So most of the butterflies are gonna get her actually in here! I'm gonna get rid of these war-driven freaking buttheads. Uh, best thing I know is to do here, just run around a circle and you should see, yeah, we're at six now. I don't know exactly where all the butterflies are in here, that's why I just run around. So I guess there's like five in here, I guess? So we're already, whoa, 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 whoa! Whew, this is always a scary jump! Oh, see, I almost messed it up there too. I almost wonder if I should go back to her now. Well, whatever. It will be. F it'll be fine. I'm sure. And there's a monkey coming up here somewhere. A monkey fuck. Yeah, look at that. Look at that asshole trying to be all sneaky and stuff. All sneaky. And then we come over here. There's a torch. She's like, "Come here, butterflies. No, come here." Ugh. And there we go. We got eleven. If you go farther down. Oh, there's plants with poison. And then there's freaking gosh dog diggity. There's pillars there, but we can't break them, so we don't even bother trying to do that. Going back is gonna be pretty hard too. Is it okay? It is this jump here? Even the monkeys look kind of dark. Uh, uh, oh, oh, mini heart attacks. Oh no. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You jump down. We can just walk there, right? Yes, we can. Good. Oh, woo. Stuck in the water. I was gonna say, that stuck in that water put on my torch for whatever reason. Butterflies! <laughs> Thank you. Come and visit me at the village sometime. Why are you so punchy? Also, what did she do to my head before? I'm legitimately curious. Phase one of my plan was complete. Rescue Princess from the clutches of evil butterflies. Phase two was about to start being welcomed with open arms at the native village. Yeah, the royal welcome. I better be freaking welcome after freaking saving the freaking princess from evil butterflies. But, I mean, that's kind of a lame reason to be loved. We should be like, yeah, the natives, the evil native, the renegade natives got her. I had to fight the one billions of, no, ten billion of them. It was crazy. You have to pay attention, there's no more natives out here. I guess because they're no longer interested in finding the princess and she's back, they've, rece they've receded back to the village. You're back? Now I kill you. <gasps> Who do you think got your princess to come back? With those butterflies? That was you. Then you're welcome into our village. <sighs> Before you come in through, I was wondering. No pressure, mind you. But maybe sometime down the road, Perhaps letting me, you know, kill you. <laughs> What's with you in the killing? I guess it's been a while. Have you ever thought of redirecting your energies? Taking up a hobby? Like chasing wild boar, for instance? I could chase a wild boar and kill it. Yeah, sure. Could you open the gate now, please? <laughs> I love that guy. And that's the only time you really see a cutscene with him. They always stay in that little shack there. So it's sad times. Look at that. Open the village. Did just enough for me to come in. Oh no, there's natives! But they don't seem interested in fight. Oh no! Why'd you walk into me and get scared for? Kill, kill. Yeah, if you walk up to here, you can hear him say, singing about killing. It's like, whoa. Oh, for a second, I thought he pulled out a coconut. No, he did not pull out a coconut. If you, uh, look in here, that's not an explorer. It's a St. Clair's man. Let's see what he does here. 
Oh no, he's throwing junk at me. Oh no, he's not throwing junk at me. He's throwing junk at the natives. Yeah, horrible aim. So yeah, the coconuts only stun them, so either have to kill them. Oh, that's cool. There's some to teleport in with their evil death magic. <laughs> um, they have pet porcupines. Maybe they're like war porcupines or some junk. I believe there's a drunk native around here somewhere. Oh, it's this guy, isn't it? Listen to him hiccup. Oh, happy he is. <laughs> it's fantastic. The native games. This is the gate to the ancient games of skill. You need to complete the initiation initiation rites before you can participate. Initiation rites, eh? <laughs> I love how you can hear the the burp in native. Hey, look, there's stuff for me to show. Oh, ow! Yeah, you can't destroy them. How unfortunate minute it. Ooh, who's this guy? He looks kind of important. By returning Princess Mike to our village, you've done a great thing for our people. You are now an honorary member of our tribe. Doba! Take this shield. It will protect you from weapons. It will protect you from the sun. And you can float on it down the river. But only for five seconds. Because then, it will sink. <laughs> Thanks. Let the initiation rites begin. <laughs> Let the initiation rites begin. Uh, what initiation rites? We initiated twelve men last year. Two survived the test. You have nothing to worry about. <laughs> I love it. It's the best. You receive the shield. You can use it to destroy obstacles and enemies. The entrance to the native. Native's initiation rights is blocked by a pair of spiky columns. Use your shield to smash through them. So it always really bugged me how they say that you can um, float down the river with this for five seconds because we have gotten told we need a raft to get do some stuff. But uh, this, you can't float down the river for five seconds. It doesn't work. Uh, best be to bash porcupines with the shield. So yeah, it's kind of misleading how they say. Wait, why can't I kill that porcupine? It's misleading how they say that you can uh, float down the river with it. Oh, okay. So yeah, you can take it out and press C up to hold it above your head. But what I like to do, because it's more fun, is go dive through it. And it, some it sometimes works, sometimes it doesn't. But yeah, it, it does. Yeah, see, so smashing the freaking things back up. All right, you could shush now, monkey. Yeah, there you go. It stopped. Bong the gang. Got <laughs> Bong the gang to complete the initiation rites. Yay! So difficult! <laughs> so stupid. Ooh. Oh, I guess we're locked in here until we complete this. I you have completed the initiation rite. Apparently without dying. <laughs> now, you can compete in the ancient games of skill. And you can also come and go at will. Safe from harm from our people. Sounds good. Though our warriors will not bother you in the wild, there are some renegades who are outside of our control. Avoid them. They will try to destroy you. How will I differentiate them from your warriors? By their red glowing eyes. Why do their eyes glow red? None of us are really sure. Really. Some think it's some combination of magic and evil. But that's just a guess. Maybe they stare at the sun too much. <laughs> Maybe they stare at the sun too much, I don't know. Once I had the shield, I knew I could head through the butterfly glade and into renegade territory. See what they were up to. And who knew, maybe I'd find an explorer or two tied up somewhere. Into hostile territory. So yeah, we now won't get attacked by the natives, yay! But all the natives that we've seen before will now turn into the renegade natives. So nothing's changed! Yay! <laughs> you completed the initiation rites. Now you can participate in the ancient games of skill. I don't know if there's much we could even do there right now. There might be one game we could play. <laughs> oh, he just shakes his head. He's like, oh, I'm so disappointed in you. Yeah, so here's his house. We can't go win it. So yeah, this is kind of like the main hub of the game, kind of, and I feel like it's very, very, very dangerous to have lava, especially with embers flying up above, or below, just, this is just hay. We're just standing on hay. Princess Mikkei's over here, too. Oh, I didn't know about this. Hey, Princess. What's wrong? 
Have you ever felt like you belong in a different time? Not really. This is my time. Every day, I make it mine. My time is still to come, yet it's in the past. Hey, if you think this woman of mystery thing is gonna work on me, forget it! Okay. I don't know why that made me go all weird-eyed for. I thought you said something like, come back to the village sometime. I guess not. Alright, well, I guess that's it for now. Ooh. Ooh. In the next episode, we'll check out the native games. Although, there might not be anything we can do, and there might be one thing. Um, let's go take a look at our notes. As we normally do at the end of an episode. Three entries. <laughs> at least we're halfway done now. Oh, good lord. Why did I keep going back up? I'm pressing down. At tree 11, January 25th, 1935, 104 p.m. Ran across the leech. He crash landed himself into the ancient turtle temple. Someone should take his driver's license away before he really hurts himself. I helped him out and he gave me another heroic handbook page that he found while flying around. Uh, this one was for the heroic dive. Should come in handy. He also filled me in on a bit on why McAllister's the object of Bitten Binder's rescue expedition was down here in Peru in the first place. He was looking for the legendary city of El Dorado. Fair enough. Plenty of explorers have died over the centuries looking for that mythical city. What confused me was what Leech said next. Something about time travel. Anyway, back to the important stuff. Going to see if I could find any way to get into that native village. If I can make uh, make nice with them, it should help me out in the long run. So that's interesting how Leech is talking about time travel. And then Princess Miki over here is also talking about how her time is in the past. Or it's in the future, but it's in the past. That sounds very time travel-esque, doesn't it? I don't freaking know. Entry 12. 12. July 25th, 1935, 1 12 p.m. Phone Mike, the local native princess, who is smoking hot! <laughs> Mike. Donkey Kong! Mike! I'm sorry. Uh, I talked her into heading back to the village after collecting butterflies for her, which is not as easy as it sounds. If I never see another butterfly, it'll be too soon. Anyway, with her safely heading back home, maybe I'll see if I can get into their village. They should probably give me a red carpet treatment now. And yeah, I, I guess it's insinuating that um, the player fails a few times again the butterflies. I didn't, thankfully. But it's really easy to do. Right? Entry 13, January 25th, 1935, 1.25 p.m. Okay, that was not exactly what I call a red carpet treatment. Sure, they welcomed me into the village. Sure, they pro proclaimed me a hero for finding Mike. Sure, they made me an honorary member of their tribe as well. All well and good, but then they made me go through the initiation rites. First, they give me this big honking shield, must weigh at least 50 pounds. And then they make me lug it around all over town using using it to deflect various projectiles. Oi! While they were at it, why didn't they just jam me with pain sticks and smack me on the head with a dead carp? Natives and their rituals, I guess. Also saw Mike and she seemed to have changed. Out in the forest, she was happy and full of life, but here she seemed quiet and far away. I feel like I should help her, but I'm not sure how she... how since she's keeping her distance. Anyway, the shield will let me keep heading south into renegade ter native territory where I'll, I'll hopefully find more explorers. So I guess I can't complain about my native village too much. That's it for journal entries. Do we have anything in the bestiary? We do not. Inventory? We will. Uh, the shield. Uh-huh. A gift from the tribal chief of a small South American native village, the name of which I never got. That's, that's actually cool. There is no name for this. The warriors of the tribe actually wear them as masks, but I think it's a bit big for that. Perfect size for a shield, though. I could even use it to ram into bad guys. Yeah, and the shields they have on their face aren't, like, oversized and huge or anything. And that's got our new thing here. Heroic dive. There we go. It is rumored that this maneuver was developed by the legendary pirate Roberts as a means of boarding enemy ships. He'd dive across the gap between ships through small holes in the enemy's hull made by his own cannons. Because the gaps between the ships were sometimes very great, the heroic dive covers a greater distance than a normal double jump. I love how, like, they make all these stories up, and they even, like, even the journal entries, like, they're not necessary. The bestiary, 
like the hints, well, those are that's pretty standard. But like the journal, the bestiary, the inventory, the hero can book, these are all things that definitely don't need to be in this game, but they are, and it just adds so much polish. It's really cool. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like, subscribe, around already. My name's Chris. Is there a native behind here? The heck? Oh, I thought I saw a native. <laughs> the next one. We'll check out the native vill or the uh, the native games, and then after that, we will head south into the renegade territory. Woo! Thank you guys later. Bye bye. We gotta wave. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, so stupid.